Good evening and welcome. We are learning more about the uh, man allegedly beaten to death by his co-worker at a Daytona Beach car dealership. Tonight, the family of Charles Cummings is speaking out, telling Fox 35's Dave Puglisi what led up to this horrific attack. The victim's daughter says that the argument wasn't much of one at all. Both men happened to work here at this auto body dealership as mechanics. And it all started because the two were asked to switch workstations. They gave him a little bit better of a work area. Had him switch with the kid. What seemed like a simple request is what Charles Cummings family believes was behind the motivation to Steve Tilbury's alleged unprovoked attack. The kid pulled up next to the door, got out, hit him in the head with a bat while he wasn't even looking while he was on the computer. The incident happened the morning of November 23rd at Richie Auto in Daytona Beach. Witnesses say the 26 year old used a metal bat to strike the 50 year old Cummings in the head. Initially, Alyssa Cummings said things were looking up for her father who was conscious after the attack. It wasn't until a couple days later at the hospital when things took a turn. Cummings was put into a medically induced coma. He never woke up, never got to speak, never got to say anything else. Alyssa says that her father's death has brought the family closer together. She says they won't soon forget his friendly, outgoing and goofball nature. Her brother is also a mechanic and hopes to carry on their father's legacy. Said that my pops was my best friend and I will now try my best to fill his boots and make him proud with everything I do. Tilbury was actually known to the family. Alyssa says that her brother actually had classes with him. She also says that the family were able to donate their father organs and hopes that another family could get some good news. In Daytona Beach, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News.